This is ENSA 2021, Section 1, Question 2. So we're asked to simplify 2 minus x plus 3x squared over 12x squared plus x minus 1. So what do you think our first step is going to be? Well, to make this nice and easy on ourselves, I suggest we make the denominator for these two terms equal. And to do that, we just have to times our number here by our denominator and then put it over the same denominator. So it's going to look a little bit like this. So just taking our 2, timesing it by this, and then dividing it by the same number. So that is equivalent to our 2 there, but it's given us that nice denominator so we can do some nice EB maths uh, with this second term. And then we still have to include our second term, so we're just going to minus our uh, fraction bit there. So now let's try our first simplification step. Let's expand these brackets. So just you know, times everything in this bracket by 2. So we're going to look something like this. 24x squared plus 2x minus 2. So everything in this bracket we just uh, times by 2. And then we can put this, uh, we can take this bit away. And I've just combined the two denominators together because they're the same. We can do that. So it now looks something like this. 24x squared plus 2x minus 2 minus x minus 3x squared. Now take care with this sign here. Because we're taking away all of this, we need to make sure that this plus is also changed into a negative. So now I can start combining some of these terms to make it more simple. So if we start with our x squared, so we've got 24x squared here and minus 3x squared there. So that's going to be 21x squared. If we look at our x's, we've got plus 2x here and minus x there. So that's going to be plus x. And then we've got our minus 2 we can just put on the end there. So now what is our next step? Well, both the numerator and the denominator look a little bit like quadratic equations. So if we factorise them and put them into brackets, there may be something in common that we can use to simplify this fraction a little bit more. So if we take our numerator, let's see if we can factorise um, this fraction. Now, to do this, I use a little trick. So I'm going to take the last term, which is this minus 2, and times it by our first one, which is our 21. And that's going to give us minus 42. Now, let's find two factors of minus 42 that add together to make uh, x. So we could add 1 and 42, but that doesn't work. 2 and 21, but that doesn't work. 3 and 14, or 6 and 7. Now, these can add together to make minus x. So we've got minus 6 and then plus 7. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this equation, but using these as our values for x. So we've got 21x squared minus 6x. And then we're going to split that, and we've also got 7x minus 2. Now, these are a lot easier to factorise. So if we just factorise these by themselves, we can get 3x um, times 7x minus 2, and 7x minus 2 by itself. And we can see that this bracket here is the same in both. So this is going to be one of our uh, bracketed terms. And the other one is going to be what's at the front of them. So we've got 3x there, and it looks like we have nothing here, but we're actually just timesing this by 1, because 1 times that is just going to be the same as that. So our first bracket is going to be 3x plus 1, and our second one is going to be what we have here, 7x minus 2. And that is our um, numerator that we've solved. So let's do exactly the same for the denominator. So we're going to times our minus 1 by 12, and that gives us minus 12. And again, we're going to find two factors that add together to make x. So 1 and 12, no. 2 and 6, no. But 3 and 4 do. So minus 3 plus 4 equals x, and if we times them together, we make minus 12. So let's write out our equation again. 12x squared minus 3x, and let's split that up with 4x minus 1. If we factorise both of these... We're going to get 3x times 4x minus 1, and also uh, uh, 1 again times 4x minus 1. So we can bracket these up again. So our first bracket is going to be 3x plus 1, and our second one is going to be our 4x minus 1. So that is our factorised equation. Now I can see it's quite easy to simplify this because we have a shared bracket. So if we get rid of these... We can see we've got 7x uh, minus 2 over 4x minus 1, and that is, in fact, our final answer. So our overall answer is B.